Hey food nerds, I'm Julian Fader, the gastro nerd, and have you ever had chipotle mayo before? You might have heard of it. It's a great condiment you can get on sandwiches, and of course, I love them for tacos. Taco is the theme today. I remember I would order it all the time when I would go out to different sandwich shops and it sounded super fancy, and then I was like, so if I'm gonna eat it out all the time, I should probably learn how to make it. How hard can it be? And guess what? Super easy. So if you're ever entertaining or just munching down on yourself, I even put it on my eggs in the morning for a good breakfast burrito. Chipotle mayo. So first of all, what the hell is a chipotle? Chipotle is a pepper. Now you can buy them conveniently in these little jars, cans rather. They come in like a little, like pretty much any supermarket, little bodegas, corner stores. They're obviously very popular in Mexico. They are muy spicy, muy picante, eh? Atención. Uh, but they're so delicious. And they have like this wonderful sweetness to them too. But beware, they have a kick. <laughs> this jar is about two bucks. And you can also use chipotle for other things, stews, marinades, you name it. But today we're using it in mayo. You can make a mayo from scratch or you can use good old Hellman's or whatever you fancy. This is just regular Hellman's mayonnaise. If you like mayonnaise, I'm sure you'll love that jiggle. Now you could just do one like this. This is not, that's a, that, that works. But if we're really gonna add a different layer of flavor, one of my favorite fruits in all uses of Mexican food is the lime. You use the lime throughout. So why not add a little fresh lime juice? So we're gonna squeeze lime. Now to balance out the spicy of the chipotle, I love a little honey. It adds a nice little round sweetness to it. And then of course, always gotta have some kosher salt on hand. The only real work here, other than sticking it all in a blender, any blender will do, you can mix this by hand. These chipotles are whole, so it's really great if you can put them in any sort of blender or just chop them up and you could have like a chunky. For those of you who have never juiced any form of citrus before, like I said, lime, lime, citrus, citrus, meaning lemon, lime, orange, grapefruit, you name it. If you've heard, if you give a little bit of a roll, it'll help release its juices. Then cut it in half. There are two ways you can do this. Of course, if you have a big juicer, you can do this, but if you're just juicing one, today we're just gonna do two. If you have one of these, it's a little hand juicer. It's like a couple bucks. If you find yourself juicing lots of citrus, it comes in handy. It works something like this. Sea lime, sea juicer, just squeeze. And there you go. And the beauty of this little hand juicer is it really allows you to get all the nooks and crannies done. If you do not have one of these and do not wish to purchase one, I totally understand. I bet you have a fork. If you don't have a fork in your kitchen, that's another issue we need to talk about. So now, just time for assembly. We're just gonna stick everything into the blender. So I'm opening my can of chipotles. I love this brand because it's just a little snap top. And like I said, you don't have to use all of these. Oh, they smell so good. What I love about this is I generally have all these ingredients in my pantry. So as you can see, these are whole chipotle peppers. My mayonnaise right in there. Now, this is gonna be about, eyeballing it about, the equivalent of the juice of one lime. What I like to do is add less of the chipotle, the lime, and everything else, and we can add more and adjust. And then a little drizzle of honey. About a tablespoon, a pinch of salt. And here we go. So when blending, just basically you're gonna put it up to, obviously everybody's blenders is a little bit different, the idea here is you just want to make sure everything is fully blended. If you don't have a very powerful blender, then blast it all the way up. If you have a strong one like one of these, all you have to do is about midway. All right, let's taste this. Mmm. Mm. Perfect. Spicy? Mm-hmm. There you have it. Chipotle mayo. Great on sandwiches, tacos, and like I said, I even have it on my eggs in the morning. As we saw, it's just chipotles, lime, mayo, honey, a little bit of salt, and that's it. So the key is to go out and buy some chipotles because everything else you might have heard of already. Thanks for watching The Gastro Nerd. I'm Julianne Fader. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do just by clicking that little button down there, and stay tuned for more delicious nerdiness to come.